on. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, a peace and salutation to the hopefully lack. Now, um, I was doing some research, right, and I came up upon, upon a video that uh, it's a guy by the name uh, BGS Ibmore. He does some um, cool videos, you know, and um, the brother is on point about what he says. And um, I, uh, he made a video on uh, this uh, scent, this uh, old nigga. And, and, and I'm going to say this, you know, because you do want to have respect for uh, your elders. Like far as in the world, I'm not talking about, you know, our elders. Because we respect our elders, but these uh, worldly uh, individuals, Jake, these old bottles, basically they're simps, you know, um, because the, these 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 men, right, they, uh, these uh, guys out in the world, you know, they let, they let this, this other generation, so-called generation, in the wrong direction. Lord, and, and it's a blessing that we have the uh, elders and apostles at Great Millstone to lead us in the right direction, you know. But these old bottles, like I'm going to say Judge Joe Brown, this scent he came up with, and as you can see on the screen, he says a woman making $100,000 a year and has a mate making just 40000 a year needs to find another guy who isn't a drag on our resources. Now, where is that? What does that says in the Bible? Where's that's fornication right there or adultery rather, you know, and what if the guy making a hundred thousand dollars a year and a female making 40, you know, and this work, see this, this system of thing is set up for these simps to tell these women. To, that's why, that's why everything is messed up, you know, but, the guy, uh, BGS Igmore, he goes in on it, you know, because these black women, the reason why they act this way, and that, that's another reason why they are uh, off, too, because of these simps. These simp niggas are talking this shit, you know. It says, unless it's temporary, it's a, it's a temporary, it's, this guy's a simp, man. It says it's a temporary setback. She's way above him. Look, this 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 fucking nigga is uplifting women. You know. Now I'm gonna say this: Judge Joe Brown, he 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 says some uh, he says some truth to some of his statements. Well, overall, when when these niggas out in the, the celebrity world, they not in the truth, so they're gonna go off. You know, and all of them sold out anyway. So the hell with them. That's why. I understand when apostles and elders don't have no remorse for when these niggas drop dead, you know, all these celebrity. It, hey, lately, it's been a lot of celebrity niggas dropping dead, you know, and we don't have no remorse for them, you know, because of shit like this, you know, that's 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 that's. But hey, if these so-called black women feel us, though, and listen to this, so be it, because we trying to get up out of here anyway, you know. But this is one of the, I wanted to bring an example because this is one of the reasons why these females are acting like this. Because of fucking simp niggas like this. You know? Uplifting the women, you know? But if you brothers get a chance, you know, you could check this guy's video out because he goes in and he tells, he brings out some of the reasons why a lot of uh, so called black women are not getting married, you know? And this is a setup anyway, because Esau, the scripture says that a woman shall compass a man. So this is all a play on society, Esau society, pitting the women over the men, you know. But long as you have simps like this, Judge Joe Brown, you know, it, it's, it's never going to be a change here in Babylon, you know. So this place is going to be destroyed. But I'm going to bring out, I'm gonna, let's go to the scriptures. I'm going to play a little bit of this clip. Um, cause he, he definitely goes in. I'm gonna just play a little bit. Not right now. Let's go to, let's get these scriptures because, um, 
that's going off if a woman making more than that's not grounds for her uh that's not grounds for her finding another uh man you know she's supposed to stay with her uh her husband i'm gonna well i'm gonna come back to matter of fact let's bring this out deuteronomy the 24th chapter verse 1 and it reads when a man have taken a wife and married her and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes because he have found some uncleanness in her let him write her a bill of divorce let him write a bill of divorcement and give it to her hands and send her out of his house see this society is messed up and all backwards the way as though they have her you know uh the scriptures doesn't say if she makes a hundred thousand dollars you know according to joe brown she should get another man you know it says and when she is departed out of his house she may go and be another man's wife but but check this out look where it says it says it says, let him write her a bill of divorce, not her, you know? So it's, it's really, it's, it was, it's up to the so-called Israelite man, you know? It says, and if the latter husband hate her and write her a bill of divorcement, see, and give it in her hand. And send her out of his house. Or if the latter husband die. Which took her to be his wife. Her former husband. Which sent her away. May not take her again. To be his wife. After that she is defiled. For that is abomination before the Lord. So. You know you ain't supposed to take her back. Once you you know. Get rid of her if you divorce her. You know. And uh. Brothers could read a little you know, on your own time, read a little bit further down about uh, the certain laws. But I just wanted to get, show example. Or if that's not grounds for, you know, if you make $100,000, you on another level. You know, now in, in this society, hypergamy is, is, is definitely real, you know. But we're supposed to be trying our uh, best to follow what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah set up. You know, not the way of the world. Uh, let's go to Mark. Salaki. Let's go to Mark. Chapter 10 of verse 2. Mark. Chapter 10. And verse, let's go to verse 12. And it reads, And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committed adultery. See? So, according to uh, Judge Joe Brown, that's, that's she, she can't do that. If she make $100,000 and he make $40,000, and she says, oh, just because he, he making... You know, he making a little bit more, little less money than me. Um, I'm going to go find another man. Which, that happens a lot in this society. Because, like I said before, in this society, women, in this nature as well, women marry up. You know? but uh, And if she does that, she committing adultery. And that happens a lot. You know? So a lot of these women are going to be going to be put to death you know because you're not supposed to do that that's committing adultery i just bring the scripture out right here you know so she not she's not supposed to uh according to the scriptures if she's making a hundred thousand dollars and he's making 40 and then murray that that's not grounds for her to leave him and uh find another husband you know and i could just drop the mic right there because that's enough proof right there mark the 12th chapter but we're going to get 
a couple more scriptures to prove it. Um, just to dig a little deep into it. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 18. And we're going to go to verse 22. And it reads, Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor in the Lord. Yeah. You know, I'm just bringing out a couple scriptures on, you know, marriage. So that's a good thing, you know. If who whoso find for a wife, find for a good thing. What's what's the problem with a woman making more than a man? Uh, I mean, well, in this society, it's set up that way anyway. So it's going to be a lot of uh, so-called women, black women, at that making more than Jake because you know they you got a lot of Israelite women on these jobs. They they so. Uh, claim to be so educate, educated and uh, they get these jobs and some of them are making good money, you know. Was she supposed to divorce them because she all of a sudden, cause now, now Peter, like men, men make more than women anyway, the majority of the time. So when he was on his job making, he might have been in the constructions or whatever and not, most likely Jake is making more than some $40,000. Cause on these construction jobs, personally, I didn't, you know, we we didn't made more than that, and 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 that's in your around your uh, second or third year, and uh, being an electrician. Now, if you're an electrician and you about to furnish um, your apprentice, you, you could be making a hundred thousand dollars easy in a year, you know. So the majority of the time, Jake making. More money than a female anyway. But in, in a lot of cases, uh, that does happen, you know. But that's, like I said, you when you got simps like that, like Judge Joe Brown, to where as though he uh, messed the game up, you know, and and, and steer uh, the women in the wrong direction. Let's go with, I'm going to just bring out a couple more scriptures. Um, we can get Genesis chapter two, verse 24. And it reads, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they should be one flesh. Yeah. So they, they won, they won flesh, you know? So if she making that hundred thousand dollars and he making that forty, they want they they supposed to put that money together and work and make it work, you know, make it work for that themselves, you know. Not uh, that simp talking about, and that's the problem, you know. Judge Joe Brown, she making a hundred, you know. That's separating the uh, the uh, the marriage, you know. That's uplifting the woman for no apparent reason. That's all that is. It's uplifting her. You know, we can go to First Peter chapter three, verses one. And it reads, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husband. You hear that? Be in subjection. Not if I make a hundred thousand dollars and he makes forty, uh, I'ma leave him and I'ma get me a you know, that's that's giving women that's giving women uh the ability to be sluts, you know. Every man she sees that make more than her, she she just gonna hop. You know, and they do that in this that's called uh, monkey branching, you know. They do that out in in this world, you know. But what about the times when she was making nothing and he was making uh forty forty grand, he might have helped her move up. What about the times where he helped her get get bought her things, pay her way for everything while she was in college? And then now she finally got this job. Was she supposed to just drop him because now she's making a hundred thousand dollars and he making forty? She looked back and said, Hey, thank you for everything, but I'm making a hundred thousand now and uh I found somebody making two hundred I found another man making two hundred thousand. 
but thanks for the help. Thanks for all the money that you spent on me um, throughout the, you know, yeah, that ain't that ain't right. You know, the most high ain't with that, you know. So I don't know what the hell that sent Judge Joe Brown talking about. And again, don't get me wrong. He does say some 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 real, real, I'm going to be honest, real shit. Forgive me for my language. But he did, he does bring out some points. But hey man, if you ain't if you ain't talking about this truth, you you ain't hitting on nothing, you know. So all the uh, all the honors go to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone, you know. Like um, Apostle Gobar says, beginning what Apostle Taha on down, you know. But uh, I could bring out another scripture over at Luke chapter six, 16 verses 18 because this uh this thing on uh it it, it then got bad you know Jake Jake women against the Jake men it then got bad and it's gonna get worse because the most high ordained it to be but these one Salaki brothers these women had had that time to be whores and sluts over here in Babylon. And what's making it worse is, is these these so-called Israelite men, the elders are supposed to be leading this this world, is making it worse. They only don't making it making it worse. Simps like uh Judge Joe Brown telling women if you making you know, that's some wicked evil shit, you know? But we're gonna go to uh I was in leap, but let's go to I meant to go to uh chapter sixteen. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go to chapter sixteen verses eighteen. And then I'm gonna play a little bit of that clip. And it says, Whosoever Putteth away his wife and marrieth another committeth adultery. And whosoever marrieth her that is put away from her husband commit adultery. So you ain't supposed to be putting away your, uh, you know, your wife or your uh, husband for, for, for any, uh, things like that. That that don't give you grounds to just put away your, uh, your, your you know, your, uh, your marriage. That's not grounds for that, you know. It's certain laws, statutes, and commandments that we as Israelites have to go by because Moses had got the law and the contract. And just because you're a woman making $100,000 more than you, because not a, a lot of times Jake make more than a woman. But in some cases that does happen because Esau set this system up for the woman to be over the man. And... Um, the Most High even ordained it that to happen because that's in the scriptures. A woman shall compass a man. So in certain incidents, you're going to have a woman making more than a man. That don't give her the right to divorce him, put away her, put away him, and, and, and commit adultery. Now let's go over to this clip. Because this 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 guy, uh, BGS Igmore, he, he says some real, real you know, real, real things about it. He brings it out. And when you brothers get a chance, you can even uh, watch the whole clip. I'm going to just play a little bit of it, you know, just to, sh you know, show you what he's talking about. Uh, households were led by women. If we're talking about a two-parent household, a two-party household, and one-third of them were actually uh, led by women as far as financially. They were breadwinners. One-third was equal and one third was actually led by men. That is what they call equity, folks. That's balance. That's what the feminists were shooting for. So the environment that you have that Judge Joe Brown just read is something they have been talking about for the last 10 years, even amongst the white feminists. This is intentional. This is intentional. And going forward, guess what? White women and black women are after going, just going to have to do one of two things. Either sit the fuck on the sidelines and take your 12 to 5 penis to get your rocks off. Or you're going to have to accept the reality and woman up and become a breadwinner. 
That hundred thousand dollar woman and that forty thousand dollar guy is by design. It's not an accident. It's not the dude that's not stepping up. This is a design. This is a planned society. They planned this 50 years ago. It's in the policy. It's in the literature. Why do you think they always promote women over men? To promote equity. Now, equity to women means what? That I'm going to find a 50-50 what? Relationship. If you listen to women, they don't want a 100-0 relationship. They want a 50-50 relationship. I hear it all the time. I want a partner. I want a 50-50 relationship. That's what they've been taught. What they didn't realize what equity actually meant. Equity means that a third of the women, just like they said, a third of the women, maybe half the women, are going to have to be breadwinners. So just like that $100,000 guy takes a $40,000 woman or a no-dollar woman. In the past, they had to take on the patriarchal role of doing it about setting up a household. In this egalitarian, gynocentric atmosphere, society, guess what's going to have to happen? A $100,000 woman's going to have to find a $40,000 guy that's, to, that's supportive male so that they can make a household. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So all this complaining about, I can't find a man on my level, you're not supposed to find a man on your level. You're supposed to date down. That's the whole idea of pushing you up. If they, if they wanted you to marry up or continue to marry up, they, don't, they would have no need to elevate you, to educate you. There's no need to have a $100,000 woman or a $200,000 woman. <laughs> hey, this brother's on point. I can't deny it. This brother's on point. Uh, hey, he he's on point. And it's by design. Esau set set that up you know and these people don't even realize they being fooled these uh so-called blacks hispanics and native americans esau is just fooling them right in front of their face you know and logic just you know if you logic just tells you and the brother said it if 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 you want to be all on a high level then what you expect if they uplifting you then and you up top you're going to have to date down because you're making all the so-called money, you know? And he bring out some more points that just hit the nail in the coffin, you know, like he just, he, he, he nails it, you know? But, um, yeah, when you brothers get a chance, uh, you know, your free time, check that video out. It's, uh, the guy, as you can see on the screen, BGS Ibmore, um, about the judge Joe Brown says don't marry down um video. Good it's a good video. You get some free time, just check it out on your own, you know. But uh that's all I got, you know. I hope this was edifying, you know. This is once again this is uh Sean from the uh, Baltimore branch of GMS, you know. I want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Hawashah Bahashem Rakakwadash. Until again, Shalom.